The Kremlin's propaganda czar, Dmitry Kisilov, has offered excuses to justify the use by pro-Kremlin TV channel Russia One of two-year-old video filmed in Russia to portray current events in eastern Ukraine. The bogus report showed a dead body with a pistol lying nearby, whilst a voiceover insinuated that the Ukrainian National Guard had shot a civilian. All the while, a caption on the lower left side of the screen reads, Donetsk Oblast, Ukraine. The problem was that the clip was not taken from a video made in the Donetsk Oblast of East Ukraine in recent days, but rather from a video shot in the Caucasus region of Russia in November 2012, when Russian forces were undertaking an anti-terror operation. The full version of the video was released in 2012 by the Russian National Anti-Terrorist Committee. Kisilyov has attempted to explain away the use of the video clip by saying that he was sure that it was simply a chance mistake and not an attempt to manipulate the the audience. He said that the quote, young nymphs who do the video editing probably put the wrong video into the report by accident, but could not offer any reasons as to why, in that case, the announcer had managed to refer to specific details of the clip. Such mistakes, to use Kisilov's words, have appeared a number of times on pro-Kremlin channels since unrest began in Ukraine. Last March, for example, Russia's Channel One claimed that thousands of Ukrainians were fleeing to Russia to escape the authorities in Kiev. But in the absence of any such mass exodus, the channel resorted to using images of Ukraine's border with Poland to illustrate the story. Nonetheless, Kisilov, who recently suggested that Russia could turn the U.S. into radioactive dust, has been honored by Russian President Vladimir Putin for his work. The TV presenter last February received from the Russian leader an award for service to the fatherland.